Today let's make a dish which is quite famous in Punjab which is nutty, creamy and delicious to taste. The chicken patiala. Here I have 750 grams of chicken. To that I'm going to add half a cup of curd, half a teaspoon of garlic paste, half a teaspoon of ginger paste, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of red chilli powder, quarter teaspoon of pepper powder and some salt. I'm going to mix this well and keep it aside and then get on to the gravy. So in a kadai, I'm going to heat three tablespoons of oil. And once the oil gets hot, I'm going to add some whole spices. That is half an inch of cinnamon, two cardamoms, green cardamoms and two cloves. And once they release their aroma, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a teaspoon of finely chopped ginger and finely chopped garlic. Going to fry this till the raw smell of the ginger and garlic goes off. And now I'm going to add four medium sized onions that I have finely chopped. And let's saute this till it's nice and brown. The onions are nice and brown. Let's add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of coriander seed powder and just saute this for a few seconds. Here I have two tomatoes, medium sized tomatoes that are finely chopped. I'm going to add this to the onions and I'm going to cook this by sauteing it till the tomatoes are nice and soft. I'm going to add quarter cup of water here because we want the tomatoes to be nice and soft and we don't want the masalas to burn. The tomatoes are cooked nice and soft. Now let's remove half of this masala and keep it aside because we're going to use it to finish off our gravy. Now in this remaining masala, I'm going to add the marinated chicken. I'm going to add two finely chopped green chilies. I'm going to saute this chicken for five minutes and then I'm going to cover it and cook it on a low flame till the chicken is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the masala that we had removed from the onion and tomato gravy to make another gravy which we're going to use to finish off the chicken curry. For that, I'm going to add a tablespoon of oil and once it's nice and hot, I'm going to splutter half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and then I'm going to add a teaspoon of finely chopped ginger, finely chopped garlic and here I have a cup of methi which I have finely chopped and I have added salt to it once it sweats and it releases the bitter water I've thrown that water washed the methi again and I'm going to add it to this sorting this for a minute more And now I'm going to add one medium onion which I have diced and one capsicum that I have diced again over here. I'm going to just saute this for a minute. We sauteed the capsicum and onion for a minute. Now I'm going to add quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of chili powder 
half a teaspoon of cumin seed powder, half a teaspoon of coriander seed powder. Mix this well. And now I'm going to add the remaining masala that we had removed. Mix this. Here I have half cup of cashew nut paste which I'm going to add. This is going to give our gravy a nice nutty flavor. I'm going to saute this for 3 to 4 minutes on a low flame. I'm going to add some salt to this. We've already added salt to the chicken. So say about half a teaspoon of salt for this gravy and half a cup of water. Let's cook this gravy for another 2 to 3 minutes. Till then let's see if our chicken is cooked. The chicken is ready. Let's add the gravy that we have prepared here. Mix this well. And you can see how creamy the curry is looking. Now to this, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of garam masala powder. One green chilli finely chopped and I have half an inch of ginger which I have cut into julienes, one teaspoon of kasuri methi, mix this again. I am going to cover this and cook it for another two minutes. I am going to shut the flame. And I'm going to add quarter cup of fresh cream. Mix this well and our chicken patiala is ready to be served. So let's remove it in a serving bowl. I'm going to garnish this with some fresh cream, some finely chopped coriander. You can have it with steamed rice or parathas, naan, tandoori rotis, anything of your choice. So do try this recipe and let me know. Hi, this is Smita Dev and welcome to Get Curried. Today I'm going to teach you a recipe that I learned when I was 17 years of age. My mum had a party at home and I insisted on cooking something for her. And it's that time that she taught me how to make the Karnataka style chicken biryani. And it turned out fabulous and I thought I must share this recipe with you guys. So let's make the Karnataka style chicken biryani. I've got a kilo of chicken which I'm going to marinate it with a cup of yogurt, a teaspoon of turmeric, and some salt and I'm going to make a green paste which we are going to use for the marination as well as the gravy. For that I'm going to take 5 spicy green chilies, a big cup of coriander, half a cup of mint leaves, pudina, 15 cloves of garlic, 2 inches of ginger and 1 onion, large onion and I'm going to add very little water and make a fine paste out of this. It's a nice smooth paste. We'll add half of this to the chicken for marination. To this I'm going to add a tablespoon of garam masala powder. You can use any garam masala powder. I'm going to mix this well and marinate it for an hour. And while this is getting marinated, we'll make a gravy. I'm going to heat a quarter cup of ghee and once the ghee melts, I'm going to add 5 medium sized onions that I have sliced and I'm going to saute this till it becomes nice and golden. Now while this is turning golden, we'll make the rice. For the rice, 
I've taken three cups of basmati rice, which I have soaked for 15 minutes in water. I kept about three to four liters of water boiling here. I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of salt to this. And then I'm going to add the rice that I have soaked. I'm going to stir this gently and then I'm going to cook it without a lid till each grain is nice and separate and almost done. So let's see the onions now. I want my onions to brown a little fast so I'm going to add a little salt. Keep an eye on the rice as well. Keep the flame on a medium. The onions have turned brown. I'm going to add the remaining paste that we had made. Saute this till the raw smell goes off. Now to this, I'm going to add a tablespoon of chilli powder. Mix this well. And then, I have finely chopped three tomatoes. I'm going to add these tomatoes and cook them till they're nice and soft. Let's take a look at the rice. Since we have soaked the rice, it will not take too long to cook. Within 10 to 15 minutes, it should be almost done. It's the correct consistency. It's not cooked and it is still yet to be cooked, which we are going to cook on a dump. So let's switch off the flame and drain the water. Now let's remove it in a thali and cool it. Now till the rice cools down, we'll finish off with our gravy. Our tomatoes are almost nice and mushy. I'm going to add the marinated chicken. Mix this well. So I'm going to add a cup of water to this and I'm going to cook it on a medium flame till the chicken is almost done. We need to check for salt over here because we've already added salt in the marination and also when the onions were browning. So just be careful, you can taste the gravy and then if you feel the salt is less, you can add it. I'm going to cover this and cook it till the chicken is done. Let's check on the chicken. This is done. Now I'm going to add a few boiled potatoes. I have baby potatoes here. I'm going to add six, seven of them. Just mix them well in the curry. Cook it for another minute. I'm going to put this gravy in another vessel because I'm going to layer it and then I'm going to cook it on a dum. To this, I'm going to add the rice. To this rice, I'm going to add some saffron milk. I have infused a few strands of saffron in warm milk, melted ghee. This will just glaze the rice and make it look beautiful. I'm going to add some finely chopped coriander. And I have some fried onions which I'm going to garnish this biryani with. I'm going to simply cover this with a lid and I'm going to cook it on a dum on a very low flame for 10 to 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. We were cooking this biryani on a dum. Now let's plate this dish because it's ready to be served. See how moist the biryani is. You can have this biryani with an amazing raita of your choice and enjoy your meal. For such simple recipes for biryanis, like, share and subscribe to Get Curried.